So, Karen, let's talk about your story. Are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay. So, what you do is you're referring to the past. I'm not talking about not referring to the past. You use the past as a point of reference, of mm -hmm. course. And it would be stupid of me not to use my past experiences and fall into the same ditch that every time in my life I'm falling into it and fall into the same ditch. After five times, I fell into this ditch and I got my, my clothes m muddy or oily or broke my ankle and I go back and fall into the same ditch. That's very stupid. So we have our memory, of course. You have your past experiences to derive from. So you use your memory to go to your past and to use that information. So you don't do the same thing, same mistake five times in a row. Or you're referring to what has happened. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying that you don't use your past memories for your good. What I'm referring to is what most people on this planet do. They're constantly living in the past. They're dwelling in the past and they're completely missing out here, right now. I've encountered thousands of people that they're missing the, the beauty of this moment, the love, the joy, the juice of this moment because they're so stuck in their head. They're so worried about something or they're constantly... I mean, I have friends, family, relatives I talk to. They're asking me questions. So, Zarathustra, how was it? Did you go to Sedona? And I tell them, yeah, I went to Sedona and I did this and I did that. And they don't hear a word I said. And then five minutes after, so how was your time in Sedona? And I'm like, dude, I just told you what happened in Sedona. Where were you? You weren't listening to me. I have close friends asking mm -hmm. me the same question in a matter of 10 minutes, three times. And I want to pick up something and smack it in their head because it makes me upset that you're just not listening to what I say. Who am I talking to? I already told you that. Because it's trendy and it's chic and it's becoming okay Okay, this is, this is another part. This I want to bring it to your attention. It's becoming okay and normal to not be present and to be stuck with your phone all the time. You know, when was it? It was like a couple of days ago, yesterday or the day before, I, I'm talking to this friend of mine. We're talking, he's asking me questions and he's doing this. And I'm like, put the damn phone away. You're asking me questions and I'm telling you and you're on your phone. Then be on your phone, do your thing. I didn't drive all the way here to see you for you to be on your phone. If you wanna be on your phone, then what the hell did you make plans to see me for? I didn't drive one hour to come and see you for you to be on your phone. Put the phone away. Oh, oh, okay, okay, yeah, put the phone away. Okay, what do you want to know now? You want to know about my trip? I'll tell you about my trip. So, we don't even realize that what has happened. And, you know, the older people, they're a bit older, they're better. But as you get, go move into younger generation, it's a disaster. It's completely disaster, disastrous, because they can't be present with you and listen to you because they're just playing their devices all the time. 
And the older people, their problem is they can't let go of their past. They're so stuck into their past. So their past is hunting them all the time. You have to come back here. If you want awakening, if you want God, if you want love, if you want to be happy, you have to ruthlessly cut out everything outside of here and just learn how to be here, how to be present in this moment. And you get the juice of life, the nectar of life, the love, the, the, the joy of the life is here. It's not in your story that, oh, it was so beautiful before the pandemic, I could go to Spain and we could go to northern Sweden or we can do this or blah, 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 blah. That's not here. It's past. Forget about that. Here, what do you have here? You can enjoy the moments of this moment of life right now because it's full, it's complete, it's whole, it's rich. There is so much in this moment. If you pay attention, if you just hang out here, if you're willing to just be here, there's so much in here. It's so fresh. It's all brand new. None of it is old. And then you will see. Anybody has any questions for me? Is that a comment you want to make or is it a question? Uh, Rosalie. I, I'd just like to tell you, you talk about the relationship. Many times when you are in a relationship and it's stuck there and you walk away from there, and in the next one, you go into the same again. And the best okay. relationship I have now and I had it for years. That's the one I have now, and that it's with myself. Okay. So many times when you go out of one thing, you go into a new thing you think is new, but you go into the exactly the same again. Okay. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> 